Daniel's Music Foundation. Keyboard Series 1 Introduction to Keyboard. Hi, my name is Scott. I'm an instructor at Daniel's Music Foundation, and I produce the instructional mini series videos. Welcome to our first keyboard series, Introduction to Keyboard. As we go through these videos together, I want to encourage you to play along on your own instrument and pause and repeat these videos as many times as you need to. Our goal in this series is to make the instrument as accessible as possible to many different learning styles. If you learn best by seeing and observing, I want to encourage you to follow along with the visual cues that I give on screen. If you learn best by touching and listening, follow along with the cues that I give to do so. Episode 1. Getting to know your keyboard. In this first episode, we're going to talk about how the keyboard works. If you've never touched the instrument before, this is a great place to start. Even if you're already an experienced player, my hope is this episode will have some new information and some fresh perspective for you. You may have an electric keyboard like mine, or an acoustic piano. For this series, we will use the term keyboard to describe both. Some keyboards are very small, with only a handful of keys, and some can be very large with as many as 88 keys. I will be using an electric keyboard with 61 keys, but whatever you have at home is going to be just fine to get started. Take a moment now to look and feel around your keyboard. The part of the keyboard that we play on is made up of keys. The ones that lay flat are the white keys. The ones that are raised up are the black keys. Take a moment to feel around the black keys. Place your fingers on top and in between them. Notice that the black keys are laid out in groups of twos and threes. This will be important to remember as we move forward and begin to learn the names of each of the keys. Each key of the piano has its own sound, which we will call a note. As we move left on the keyboard, the notes get lower. As we move right, the notes get higher. Try that with me. Move your hand all the way to the left of the keyboard and find the lowest note of your keyboard. Now move your hand all the way to the right of the keyboard and find the highest note. Notice the difference in quality between these notes. The notes of the keyboard are laid out sequentially. If we play these notes together in the middle of the keyboard, we hear they sound very close. If we play notes that are eight keys apart, we can hear there's a much bigger distance between them. The best way to get to know your keyboard is to look, touch, and listen. Look at the keys. How are they organized? Do you see any patterns? Place your hands on the keys. What does it sound like when you press down softly? What does it sound like when you press down a little bit harder? Listen to the different notes of the keyboard. How would you describe the low notes on the left side of the keyboard? How would you describe the high notes on the right side of the keyboard? Thank you for taking some time to explore the keyboard with me today. In our next episodes, we will learn the names of each key. We have lots more to learn together, and it will take time to get to know your instrument, but you should feel really proud of yourself for taking your first step into the journey of learning how to play the keyboard. Remember, practice often, be patient with yourself, and if you get frustrated, focus on the love of music that started you on this journey.